took a, a great interest in, in telling his story, and it is a story that needs to be told. He was six foot three, which when you look at the modern locks, who are about six, nine, six, ten. The average height back in 1938 was five foot seven. And the remarkable thing with Blur is he had a 34 inch waist with a 48 inch chest. So that sort of gives you an idea of the mom. He started off, we obviously went to Regent House School and started off playing rugby uh, with the 15s. Then going on from Regent's House on to Queen's University OTC to study law. Queen's are the most lands of any club in Ireland with 22. First Queen's lands were in 1910, which was the first tour that was picked by all four home nations. And not every tour, but nearly every tour, we've had players on it. and. Uh, some of the most synonymous names in Lands history, Jack Kyle, Tommy Bow, and our last land was Ian Henderson in 2017. During 1938, and was selected for the Lands. We got to the Lands, he played all three test matches, including the third test, which they won. That was their only win on the tour. They lost the series 2 1. And despite the Lands losing, the South African story was one of the greatest sports they'd ever seen playing. So even the South African journalists were praising as hard a brace of stay. To play 20 times for the Lions in one tour is amazing when you consider the 2021 tours only eight games. If he had a had the longevity, he would have been uh, he would have been considered a Lions great and a Ireland great. But certainly he'd be considered a Queen's great, an Ulster great, and yeah, he would have to say short, short impact, long-term legacy. Then he, he joined a, a small organization called the Special Air Service um, and was there in its infancy and uh, and helped to not only develop it, but um, carry it on when when uh, the, their leader, David Sterling, was, was captured. And Blair took the responsibility of carrying on the, the idea of the SAS um, right through to the end of the war uh, and incredibly successfully for a, such a small group initially. And, and what they did, they shortened the war considerably by their actions. Everybody that, that that's sort of into World War II um, would know of Blair Main, uh, because obviously he, he's Ulster's greatest son, Norn Allen's uh, Irish warrior. Awarded four DSOs, DSO and three bars. Like that's amazing in its own right. He was just a natural born soldier, leader as well. Blair Main was the highest decorated soldier in World War II. Um, I'll coin a phrase that Peter Forbes always says, the bravest man not to be awarded the Victoria Cross. <laughs>